Hey everybody, it's Duke. Thanks for tuning in again. This is the uh, Grand Design Solitude. The Solitude is the uh, flagship model for Grand Design. It's a fifth wheel. This is the 3740BH. It's got uh, a bunk room. BH stands for bunk house. So it's got a bunk room in the back. And I'm gonna show you the inside. We'll walk through that. First, we'll take a walk around the outside and then we'll take a look at the inside. You see it's got three ACs up on the roof. Got a ladder in the back, a walkable roof, camera prep. You can see the, uh, it's got a little hitch here. You could, in a four pin connector, uh, you can uh, hook up a trailer, pull a Harley Davidson or a Wave Runner or something like that. Some stylish looking alloy wheels. So we'll try to do some decent camera work here. There's your uh, 50. 50 amp uh, connection right there where you plug it in and uh, that's your black tank flush never never uh, hook up to that black tank and turn it on unless this black valve is open that's a big mistake you don't ever want to make it it will do some memorable damage to your RV so that's the convenience center right there hot and cold shower I'm not gonna go over all these controls but it's all conveniently located you can take a look at it there that is the low point drains there and here is the auto leveling control right here right here on the door it's got instructions over there so we'll take a look at this pass through from the other side also that door right there is a 30 gallon propane tank that door is locked I forgot to unlock it so I'm gonna skip that one but it's storage in the front where you could if you wanted to uh, store something up there here's the uh, propane there's one on each side 30 gallons that's the 50 amp cord right there. That is a battery disconnect right here where you can turn, you can just disconnect your battery if you don't want it to drain. And you can see up here, it's got double welded aluminum. It's good construction. There is a vapor barrier up here. So that's a quality built RV. And then there's a vent coming from the heater duct right there. Uh, and that will keep your uh, pass through garage, so to speak, from freezing. So that's a nice feature. It's got the uh, step above. That is a solid, stable entry with a big grab handle on it there. We're gonna walk around a little farther before we go in that uh, door. It's got the stereo speakers. There's an awning right there on that slide out and there's another awning up there in the front over the front door. Now here in the back, it's got an outdoor kitchen it's a really uh, well I'm trying to think of the verbiage you use. Oh, you can see it's even got residential hinges, very stylish looking solid cabinets. This is uh, not something you find in most RVs that this much attention to detail in the uh, uh, look at this little refrigerator here for your beverages. You can see what's in there, and then it's got a griddle. So you can make pancakes, eggs, bacon, vegetarian entrees, whatever it is that you want to make right here in your outdoor kitchen. You'll be living it, living it up right here. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. Walk up these uh, solid steps. And it says the thump here, fully laminated sidewalls. That's on the slide outs. And here's uh, their three-year limited structural warranty. I don't know. I'll let the... Okay, we're inside the 3740BH. Taking a look at the uh, living area here. So when here's the front door right here. So when you walk in, right to your left is the uh, seating area. You've got a uh, island right there kitchen off to the right a little place for a coffee pot so let's take a look at the uh, the recliners here it's got three recliners uh, so you could sit three or four people right there and then it's got kind of like a chase lounge sofa on the end you can put your feet up read a book from the natural sunlight old-fashioned book right there and you are surrounded by windows so you have a nice view and you got a really comfortable place to very homey, warm, inviting, and this is going to be directly across from your uh, TV in the fireplace. So this is going to be a very 
uh, a relaxing environment when you have the ambiance going with the electric fireplace. It'll put out heat also. And then here's a look at the kitchen. This is very stylish. Look at these countertops. And the woodwork there. Grand Design does an excellent job on details. Little things that make a big deal. Customers really appreciate that. We've got good uh, feedback from the customer on the Grand Design. This is a flagship model, the Solitude. And uh, there, this is called the 3740BH and then Dash R. The Dash R, the R stands for Residential Fridge. So that is a full-size fridge just like at your house. And here is a pantry right here. I'm going to back away. You can see it's a full-size pantry. Got a trash can in there right now, which you could place underneath the sink. I'm going to go ahead and take a look and let you see. You go inside one of those doors. There's four drawers right there. You know what the inside of a drawer looks like. That's what the inside of a sink looks like. Stainless steel sink and uh, nice uh, kitchen faucet there. There's a little nook there. You see that uh, subway tile right here? That is uh, not just a uh, wallpaper type thing. This is a, uh, a little bit higher quality than what you typically find in RVs. So you can put a coffee pot right there. You may have something else that you want to put there. Customizer for you. You've got some pantry space there. So plenty of pantry space and then let's take a look at these beautiful lighting fixtures you've Got a skylight there You've got a uh, high volume fan. I don't know if that's a max air fan or what brand it is But it looks like it is rain sensitive. There's a little umbrella there. So I think it automatically shuts off if it starts raining So that will uh, clear the air out cool it down a little bit all right, so here's the bunk room. It's got a sofa that makes into a bed. And then this will fold up this bunk right here if you want to uh, fold it up. But it's got a sleeping area here. So that's one, two, or three right there. A fourth person could sleep there. And then this is a big wide area here. So this is kind of versatile. If somebody needs a longer length sleeping area, you could do that. You got a couple of kids that fit up there. So it really is versatile. You've got a mirror here. This is perfect if you want to get a look at kind of from your knees up until slightly above your waist. See how you look in that section right there. Uh, all right, sorry about my jokes. Working on my jokes. You got four drawers. And what's really the important thing is here, there's a lot of storage. There's a big, that's deep right there. It's kind of dark in here. You can't see that. But you could store, if you've got four or five people staying here, you need this storage space. It needs to all fit together. You have room for the people. And then down below there, there's a little, see that net? You could put something back in there. And then this crew back here, they will have a half bath. Uh, so it's, and there's a place to hang up towels and uh, coats. Actually, that's more for coats. When you come walking in this door, you can hang your coat up and leave it right there. Not The RV won't get all cluttered up. So this is the... Uh, half bath see the nice looking floor in here just kind of showing you the floor plan letting you see what it's all about see if this is something that uh, fits what you're looking for so we'll go ahead and take a look at the bathroom this has the uh, Lippert one control which is a it's got a touch screen here you can control your slide outs your HVAC the air conditioning and heating uh, and you can download an app on your phone well, they did a good job putting this toilet right in the middle here. You got plenty of leg room. You're not cramped in at all, even if you're a big person. It's one of my goals to be a bigger person, but there's plenty of room here. Plenty of room here, so that's not going to be a problem if that's one of your hot button issues is uh, plenty of room around the toilet. And let's say you, you definitely want a decent sized shower. Let's take a look. I'm going to step inside. Oh man, this thing's got headroom. I think you could probably be six, seven and be okay in this. You got the rainfall. You can immerse yourself in the uh, refreshing water and uh, have some elbow room to uh, wash your hair. So that's going to be fine. It's got nice uh, fixtures there. Okay, I'll be right back.
Okay, so that is the bathroom right there. It's got the medicine. It's a nice big medicine cabinet here. Plenty of room for your stuff. There is a toilet paper holder, little waterfall style fixture there. And some nice cabinetry down there. So let's take a look in the bedroom. Look at that wood, wood grain, looks beautiful. Uh, dresser, chest of drawers, there's a TV, and there's a window there causing a little bit of a glare. And there's a window on each side of the bed. So you've got a king size bed, plenty of room to walk around. Uh, it's got a big closet. If you can see that, it's a little dark in here. Don't have this one plugged in. Uh, you've got a place to hang your clothes, plenty of shelf space, all kinds of stuff for shoes, space for shoes, anything else you have, boots, costumes. If you're going to a costume party, you've got room for that in here. So that is the bedroom. I really do appreciate you taking a look at this one with me. Uh, I'm Duke. I'm the uh, host of this channel. And also, I work here. And uh, that's my contact information. I will be delighted to help you. Uh, if you call me, you have a question, I'll be happy to answer your questions. If you send me a text, that's the best way to get started. Just send me a text. Let me know you have questions. I will follow back up with you and uh, take additional videos. And if we make a deal, I'll... Uh, Disclose all the terms, conditions. will be no hidden fees, no no problems. It's what we don't want. Any, I don't want any problems. I don't. I don't like any problems. We want everything to go smooth for both of us. And uh, so you'll know everything when you get here. Just be a question of signing some paperwork. Uh, we take trades. I can do an appraisal before you bring it in. We always get that right if we just do it right. So that's not a problem. We can take in a trade. And then I'll make a, uh, we'll walk through this coach with you. It might take a couple, however long it takes is how long it takes. It could take a couple of hours inside and out, show you how everything works. Uh, somebody from our service department will do that. I will accompany them and let them do their job. And then if I have any input, I'll tell you later on. I won't interrupt them, but I'll give you everything that I got. And then I will also make a, a uh, reservation for you in our campground. And you can stay for a few days and do a little shakedown camping trip before you head back home. So if you live close by, I recommend it. If you live far away, you can make a trip out of it. Uh, you like to travel, you like RVs, we'll do a little urban camping here in the Houston, Texas area. Full hookups, we've got water, sewer, and electric, so uh, you'll be right here. And if there's any questions you have or any adjustments that need to be made, we'll take care of those before you leave. And it'll be a great way to start off your ownership experience. So thanks again. Here's my contact information. Send me a text and uh, look forward to hearing from you.